What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally completed the whole Team Rocket debacle. You know, we did that. Yes, me, Draven. Yes, we did that. And, well, now it is time for us to go straight to, I would like to say, Route 44 to Blackthorn City, but I kind of want to do something before we head on over there. Now, during our little adventure against Team Rocket, it was in one of those episodes we got a call from Baoba, you know, the guy that owns uh, the Safari Zone and all that crud, and he says that he has the next challenge ready, so let's go right ahead and see what this challenge is all about. We're going to be going straight back to the Safari Zone, and the good thing is that we can actually fly there now, so let's go right ahead. Fly. Fly, little birdie. That's right. Yes, I know, I'm taking a little bit of a... Uh, Quite a few uh, side quests, but who doesn't? Who doesn't? Okay, so let's go back into the safari zone and see what Baoba has to say. And he notices us, and he's gonna be like, "I've been waiting for you. The test is ready. This time, this time, or yeah, this time, can you catch a Sandshrew and show it to me? Sounds easy, right? Not really. Sandshrew will not appear with the the current safari uh, safari zone setting, and that's where it comes in. This comes in handy. Oh wow. Oh god. Okay. This sophisticated high-tech machine lets you customize Safari Zone areas. I call it the Area Customizer. You want to know how it works, don't you? It's a secret. Well, you shouldn't have trouble operating it. Just talk to the staff and next to me. Okay. So, in this part right here, this is where you can actually... Oh, hold on. He almost forgot. I was in the middle of explaining the second test, wasn't I? You will not see Sandshrew with the current Sandshrew or the areas. You have to use the Area Customizer too. Yes, he's in the desert. Okay, so... From what uh, he is saying, that this little doohickey right here can actually switch up the machine. And you can actually switch areas right here. So apparently, you got six areas. You got the swamp, savanna, marshland, mountain, peak, and wasteland. What we need to do now is we need to switch for, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch everything all together. And let's go to the metal right here. This is a marshland. That is a savanna. We need to get to a desert. Oh, look at her. Holy crap. Okay, wasteland, forest, desert. There we go. And you know what? We've already been to a peak. Let's see. What else can we do? Wasteland, forest, swamp. I think we've already been to a forest. I could be wrong. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch this one. Now, with every switch, you will be able to find yourself a brand new Pokemon and all that crud. So that right there is the plan. I think I've already gotten these guys. So let's go to the wetland right here. Okay, so we, we pretty much switched everything. And after doing that, you can hear that the Safari Zones areas has been swapped. And you can capture some brand new Pokemon, some of which... You thought you couldn't capture before Blackthorn City, but we, we will. So, let's go right ahead and talk to this lady. For just 500, yes, we're going to be uh, paying for this uh, this Safari Zone thing. We're going to be looking for some new Pokemon. And here it is, guys. We got 30 Safari Balls. Mm-hmm. All right, time to find these Pokemon right here. I wonder what kind of Pokemon we can actually find this time around. Okay, so look at this. We did a pretty good job on switching some of the stuff right here, and just remember that this this place does have a time limit. So just uh, you know, if you're looking for a specific Pokemon, just focus on that one area. Of course, you're gonna be finding some uh, Pidgeys right here. So let's go straight to the desert if we can actually find it. Now there is a sp there is a spot right here where you can actually find a very rare Pokemon. You guys already know what I'm talking about, and well, let's see what we can actually find right here. And look at this, we found ourselves a Magneton, pretty cool Pokemon. And here is, I would like to say, the desert area, right? This is the desert area, okay. So let's see what we can find right here. And here we found ourselves a Marowak, so this is pretty cool Pokemon that we're actually finding right now. Obviously you're not seeing me capture any of these Pokemon because, you know, it is what it is. And here we found ourselves a Sandshrew, and well, it looks like to me we've already caught one, but he needs one from the, yes, he needs one from the, the Safari Zone, but as you guys can see, we caught ourselves a Sandshrew, and we're not going to nickname this Pokemon right here, so just make sure to give that Safari, or Safari Sandshrew. Now, I'm going to try and look for some other Pokemon right here, because, you know, 
I have a feeling we're gonna find a pretty good one right here. So let's go right ahead and speed this up. Sand Slash. You know, let's go ahead and capture Sand Slash. And as many of you guys already know, I like to waste Pokeballs. Come on. There we go. Okay, so there we go. We caught ourselves the evolutionary form of Sand Slash or Sand True. And, well, let's see. I wonder if it's the mountainous area. And, yes, you can actually find a whole bunch of Sand Slash or Sand Trues right here. So let's go right ahead. And go back up to, I would like to say this is the mountain area right here. And what kind of Pokemon can you find? Look at that! You found yourself a Larvitar! Oh my god! Larvitar is a very rare Pokemon. Very, very rare that, you know, at once you couldn't capture in the Johto region itself. But since the Safari Zone got put into effect, yes. This Pokemon is now enabled. You can now capture this Pokemon right here. And Oh, man, don't give me any ideas. There we go. Oh, my God. And it fled. Okay, so, yeah. I think the mission is we got to capture ourselves a Larvitar because we, 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 we want it. And, well, there's Magneton. And it fled again, too. So, yes, the mountain areas. Remember, guys, mountain areas, this is where you're going to be finding a, a Larvitar. So, what we're going to do, we are on a mission to capture every Pokemon. But, we are also in a mission to actually capture Larvitar because, well, maybe, just maybe, we want to use them and stuff. Probably, I don't even know. And, here we go! We found ourselves another Larvitar. And, and there it is, guys! We caught ourselves a Larvitar. Okay, so, let's go right ahead and see what Larvitar is all about. So, here it is, guys, Larvitar, the rock skin Pokemon. It is both rock and ground type. It feeds on a soil. After it was e it, after it has eaten a large mountain, it falls asleep so it can grow. Okay, I got the proper name for this Pokemon right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this Pokemon eventually becomes a ground or a ground and dark type Pokemon. And a dark type really there's a big emphasis on that one. So let's go right ahead and name this Pokemon. Hold on. Where's this okay, this is a select button. Let's go right ahead and name this Pokemon Darkseid. After, you know, the DC Universe guy. I think that's how you spell it, right? Darkseid. Yes, Darkseid, just like that. Not in reverse and all that stuff. So say hello to Darkseid right there, guys. And it's gone to the PC. Now, many of you guys are wondering, what Pokemon would I be replacing it with? And the obvious contender would have to be... Thrasher right here because well, you know as you guys can see it is both a poison and ground type and It's done as a it, it's done as some justice going into everything that we're doing right here So what's going to happen is uh, you know, I, I would like to keep a poison type uh, typing in here somewhere there might be a mass change of uh, There might be a mass change of, of, of Pokemon that we might be using and stuff Going into the Pokemon League, it, especially going into what, we, what we're going to be trying to accomplish, and that would have to be winning the Elite Four. So, we will wait and see, and well, let's see, what, what, what happens right here? Oh my god. We're going to find ourselves Pidgeys, and uh, we're not going to throw another Pokeball for Pidgeys, but we're going to be speeding up, and look at this, we found ourselves a Mr. Mime. And, yes, we're going to try and capture Mr. Mime right here, because, you know... We're, we're the collectors of Pokemon, and yeah, we should probably visit the other the other places before our time runs out, or we run out of Pokeballs. Now, here's the wetlands, and the way it sounds, I think we can actually find some water-type Pokemon right here. So, let's see, what do we got? We got Sentret. Come on. And look at this, we found ourselves a Farfetch, which we, we already captured, so that's pretty cool. And let's see what we can actually find right here. And another Farfetch. So it looks like to me we're going to be finding Farfetch all around and Centric. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Here's Spearow. And there we go. And well, there's nothing right there. So let's go right ahead and see what we can actually find right here. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be finding nothing but normal type Pokemon right here. So let's just go ahead and scoot on over. And let's see what we got. Let's see what we got right here. And here we found ourselves an Abra. Would have loved to have that on my team. You know, just for the just for the psychic type Pokemon right here. And well, let's see, we got ourselves a Girafrig. So it looks like we captured most of these Pokemon right here. And yeah, Jurassic Giraffe Rig is pretty cool. And yes, we're gonna throw a 
<laughs> We're gonna throw some mud at it. Just so it can leave us alone. Okay, so... I wonder what this area is. The forest. And, wow, look at that. You can find yourself a Sunkern. And here is a Jigglypuff. So, let's go right ahead. Nothing right there. And... Yes, the mission is to capture all these Pokemon. Unfortunately, we're probably going to be wasting up most of our Pokeballs because they don't want to get captured. And there you go. We caught ourselves a Jigglypuff. Always nice to have this Pokemon around. Now, remember, guys, you can actually breed these uh, these Pokemon. Jigglypuff, Mr. Mime, and all them, just to have their babies and all that crud. Fill up your Pokedex. And, well, Hopip is right there. What about right here? Huh, looks like to me it's a lot of baby Pokemon, so let's go right up here. This is the desert area, and we're finding Sandshrew, as always. What if we cut ourselves another la Larvitar? No. And there's a Magnetite, so let's go right ahead and try and capture this guy. And look at this, we found ourselves and caught ourselves a Magneton. Sure wish I would have had this Pokemon, too. So, as you guys can see... This is Magneton, the Magnet Pokemon, Electric and Steel. Three Magnemite are linked by a strong magnetic force. Earache, or earaches will occur if you get too close. That is true. That is very, very true. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in our PC. And I think that's pretty much it on what we can actually capture. Unless I'm missing somebody else. And speed that through. You know what? Let's go ahead and capture Eradicate. And oh, wow, I nearly caught this guy. So, to me, it really doesn't matter right now on what, what is being captured. As long as it's filling up my Pokedex, it's uh, okay. And, well, what else can we actually find? Well, nothing else right here. So, I think I think we're at the end of our little uh, adventure right here. So, I think I'm just going to waste my time trying to see what else I can actually find. And, yes, we're going to try and capture that Raticade. <laughs> and you guys... It would seem that we're we're awfully close towards the end of our our Johto region. Yeah, our Johto region uh, exploration right here. And uh, you know, many of you guys are loving the the, the walkthrough right now. And oh my God, if I capture this guy, I'm gonna be like, what the hell? Come on, stay away. I knew it. <laughs> okay, so what are the odds? What are the odds that I could capture this Pokemon right here? And, well, let's go right ahead and put that uh, back to the PC. So, yes, we're going to be capturing multiple guys right here. So, yeah, we're going to be close to the, the end of our, our Johto exploration right here. And uh, there's going to be a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff going into the next exploration once we get to Kanto. As many of you guys already know, Heart Gold, Soul Silver has a lot more. And look at this, another Larvitar. Try to find Eradicate here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. You can find a Ligatung, and Ligatung is also a very good Pokemon. And, come on. Stay in the ball. Be with me. I have insurance. Damn it! Said it too late. And, well, okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And look at that. We caught ourselves a Ligatung. And you guys are able to actually evolve it in this game, too, into Lick Lickety, I think? So here it is, Lickitung, the licking Pokemon. I accidentally pressed the button, but yes, we caught ourselves another rare Pokemon. And, uh, well, I think that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and retire. Yeah, we're, we're done with this. I know that I could have seen some more stuff on the other parts. But here we are, we are retired. And, yes, okay. So we're getting a call by Huey. So what we need to do next is we need to go straight into the Pokemon Center and actually grab that Sandshrew. And, well, let's see what happens right here. So, let's go right over here and let's go ahead and move Pokemon right now. So, let's go and find our good old buddy Sandshrew. This Sandshrew does have Sand Veil as its uh, defense. And let's go ahead and switch it out with Needle King or Thrasher. And, well, let's go, let's go and see what we're trying to look for right here by going... Uh, by going back to Baoba and see what he actually has for us. So, let's see. If talk to this guy again. You did it! You caught his Sandshrew. I knew you could do it. You've passed the test. You are now the Safari Zone owner. Oh, wow. So, huh. I've always wanted to see young people playing at the, uh, at the Safari Zone. I thought it might get a new ideas that could help complete your Pokedex. That's what I've been thinking. By the way... Though you are now the Safari Zone owner, you would kindly continue to pay admission. We have our reasons. 
Don't be upset. I'll keep thinking about how I create new fun ways to help you complete your Pokedex. Go have fun in the Safari Zone now. Okay, so if I'm the owner and I, I still have to pay admission, that is kind of a messed up thing now. Yes, if you guys can see right here, this is the... I would like to say this is the Pal Park, where you can actually get Pokemon from other... Like, from other... Hold on, hold on, yes. From other places, especially in your uh, Generation 3 games and all that stuff. Anywho... That is pretty much it, guys. Let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Larvitar. This Pokemon will actually boost our... I guess I guess you could say it's a little too late to actually get them or to have them and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this guy brings to the table. And... Well, let's see. Dark side. Let's go straight up and look for this Pokemon right here. So, here is Dark Side. This Pokemon right here is both a dark or is a rock and ground type Pokemon. And it, it does have a mischievous, uh, you know, thing. It has a mischievous uh, kind of a nature, which will affect its defense in a negative way and its speed in a positive way. As you guys can see, it has the ability Guts boosts its attack if it has a, a status problem. And it does have some pretty interesting moves, such as Leer, Sandstorm, Screech, and Rock Slide. So what we're going to be trying to do with this Pokemon is we're going to try and get it up to level 30, where it evolves. And hopefully by the time we get to the last gym, we get it up to level 40. Hopefully by then, you know, we'll be good to go. Uh, I'm still thinking of probably switching up maybe one or two of my Pokemon in here. Just because, well, you know, we probably need a little bit more speed a little more firepower it doesn't really matter but we will get there guys so anywho thank you guys again for watching thank you guys again for being as patient as always in the next episode we're finally going to make our way to i'd like to say route 44 all the way to the blackthorn city so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time